Hi guys, so today we're making beef stew. I don't have a lot of time today, so we are making a really quick recipe. It actually is a Martha Stewart recipe, and it, it's just gonna go very fast. So we'll see if we like it after we're done. What do we have here? We have a pound of onions, three pounds of stew meat. I uh, got a chuck roast and cut it up myself. I encourage you to do that too. If you buy the stew meat in the grocery store, it's already cut up for you. Often it's inferior meat and it's end cuts. And not that those are all bad and they're less expensive, but in my case, I chose not to. Potatoes, oh, I grew these, grew the onions, grew the potatoes. So a pound, a pound, three pounds, a third of a pound of tomato paste. This is tomato paste that I froze in an ice cube tray, so I'm just letting it thaw out here. It calls for six cloves of garlic. I have one, two, three, seven, two bay leaves. So I grew the garlic too, plucked the bay leaves from my, well, that bush right there. I have a pound of carrots, two tablespoons of flour, salt, pepper, and three cups. It calls for three cups of water, but we are using three cups of beef broth. I do not uh, have any beef broth ready made, so I had to buy it. And then finally, an interesting ingredient, balsamic vinegar. Um, usually when you make a stew, you brown the meat and then you slowly layer in all the goodies to it. But uh, Martha Stewart says just throw it all in the pot, cook it up, and uh, then pop it in the oven for about two and a half, three hours. I think that's an excellent idea. I don't have a lot of time today, and that's why I'm making this particular recipe. So let's get to going. All right, so step number one, we've got the oven preheating because we're going to add this uh, Dutch oven in there. So step one is to... Combine the beef, tomato paste, vinegar, flour, and season with salt and pepper. So it doesn't say to add any oil. I'm adding some oil. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm adding lard. Um, this is bacon grease because I can and I like it. Get off the damn spoon. So I've linked the recipe before, and Martha Stewart does have uh, a video on this too. She's actually not doing the cooking herself, somebody else is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. Remember, we're not browning this. It didn't want us to brown it, it just wanted us to dump it in here. So I'm doing that, I'm adding in the flour. Which will thicken everything up. Put in the tomato paste, it'll thaw in there. Three tablespoons balsamico. I'm using uh, an aged balsamic two, three, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna go light on the salt. I can always add more, but I can't take it away, right? So before I add in the vegetables, I'm gonna stir this just to make sure that that flour is incorporated all over the place. And again, that will thicken this later. Probably could have used a bigger Dutch oven, don't you think? I might have to switch. But we'll see. And you'll also notice this recipe does not call for celery, of course. And the chunks of everything are big, one and a half inch chunks of stuff. I have cut most everything down, just uh, shy of what they requested. So we'll see how it turns out. We can always change it next time. All right, now we're going to add in all the vegetables. Big hunks of carrot, big hunks of onion, oh my goodness, potatoes, garlic, smash garlic, bay. And I have more stock if we need it. As suspected, uh, yeah, too small. Don't be afraid to try, make mistakes. We all do it. So I did double check the instructions and it did say use a Dutch oven of five quart. That other Dutch oven is a five quart. I even remeasured the water <laughs> just to make sure. This is a 10 quart, um, so I don't know. 
Um, maybe my pieces are too big. I followed the directions. I actually weighed out the vegetables this time because when I do something for you guys, I usually try to stick to uh, what I've got printed. Anyway, nonetheless, there you go. All right, so bring this up to a boil. And um, the cook in me wants to add water to cover the uh, person who watched or me who watched the video that the uh, broth or the water they used did not cover the uh, everything in the, the pot so I'm going to go with that it does say bring it to a boil which it's at a simmer right now simmer 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 so we're going to pop it in the oven now put a lid on it pop it in the oven and then we just let it be happy and uh, we'll come back in two and a half hours and check it out all right here we go Nice. All right, so the top of the meat is browned up a lot. Oh, too much of the water has evaporated for me to like. So I need to add some broth back into here. Otherwise it looks great, but it's really, yeah, too much of the broth is cooked away. So probably next time I only do two hours instead of two and a half. But that's part of the deal though, right? We try, we see what happens. And the thing with this is that um, the potatoes are breaking down, so it will thicken up with that. But also, I, you can always do a, a cornstarch. cornstarch if you want. So yeah, that's that's better. So now, um, yeah, let's plate some up. All right, so we're just going to do a little taster bowl here. Carrot, a little meat. Broth, yeah, big potato. Let's see what that's like. All right, so everything cuts really well. The carrot's done perfectly. The balsamic vinegar gives it a different taste. If you don't like vinegar, I would not use balsamic vinegar in this. It's quite good though. I like it when the beef gets like this where it just starts to tear apart. It's the best way to cook inexpensive meat. Low and slow. Um, no, this is excellent. It's excellent. <laughs> Make some bread. Buy some bread. I just started baking sourdough bread again. So I have um, half a loaf left of some sourdough that I made. Oh, so that's going to go great with this tonight. Excellent. I'll make it again. I'll cut down on the amount of time that I have it in the oven. I'll increase the amount of fluid, though, as well. Um, but otherwise, I think it's very good. So we'll see what Mr. Old School says. I don't think it needs any more salt. I don't think it needs any more pepper. I think it's just fine the way it is. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.